Okay, so we've gone through uh, showing how to integrate various powers of cos all the way through the fifth power. And now what we would like to do is come up with a more general uh, way of doing this so that, let's say, you needed to evaluate cosine to the sixth power, for example, um, cosine to the seventh power, etc. So is there a way where we could kind of uh, turn this into more of a mechanized um, approach so that we can get answers rather than trying to uh, reinvent the wheel from scratch, so to speak. And the answer to that question is yes. What we can do is you um, develop a re what's known as a reduction formula. And that's what we will talk about today. So for example, let's say we want to have a reduction formula for the integral of cos to the nth power theta d theta and here we're saying that uh, for n a positive integer greater than or equal to 2 If that's the case, then what I could say is, um, let's try to evaluate this i integral, okay? Uh, and a way to do that is to write this as um, the integral of sine, sorry, the integral of cos to the n minus 1 theta times cos theta d theta and now we are going to do the integration by part so once again we've talked about this many many times and we've even said to memorize this so the integral of u dv is equal to u times v minus the integral of v du and here we will um, assign to u the cos to the n minus 1 theta and of course the balance of the terms will be the dv which is cos theta d theta and so if I differentiate both sides of this I'm going to get uh, the n minus 1 comes out in front times the cos to the n minus 2 power times by the chain rule then I have to do the derivative of cos and that's going to be um, minus sine so let's say minus times n minus 1 cos to the n minus 2 theta times the sine of theta d theta okay and um, uh, when I integrate dv, when I integrate both sides of dv, I'm going to find v is simply sine of theta. And so the, inter the, the integration by parts formula tells me to do u times v, which will be the product of those two terms. Okay, So let's do that. So we get uh, u times v, I get sine of theta cos n minus 1 power theta and then it's going to be minus the integral of v times u so these two terms so v times u that's sine of theta is the v part times minus n minus 1 cos to the n minus 2 power theta times sine of theta d theta. And so let's do a little algebra on that. So equals sine of theta cos to the n minus 1 theta. I have a minus here multiplied by that minus. 
so that's going to be a plus and then the integral of I have a sine over here being multiplied by that sine over there so that's going to be a sine squared theta cos to the n minus 2 theta d theta and now we do what we've done many many times before we will rewrite that first term f in the integrands and namely the sine squared theta using the famous trig identity 1 minus cos squared theta is the sine squared theta times cos to the n minus 2 theta d theta and incidentally I left something out here I should have over here an n minus 1 let me see if I can correct for this hang on this is the power of technology let's see if we can move this over a little bit that's probably good enough so I really should have an n minus 1 sitting over here and n minus 1 sitting over there okay and then uh, okay so now I'm going to distribute this so this is going to be sine of theta cos to the n minus 1 theta plus let's distribute so I get an n minus 1 integral uh, cos to the n minus 2 theta d theta and then I get the other part when I distribute so I get a minus n minus 1 integral cos squared theta times cos to the n minus 2 reduces to cos uh, to the nth power theta d theta and this right here is the i that we started out with that's what we we're trying to look for so if I take this i to the other side of the equal sign I'm going to have the following I get <coughs> I had the i to begin with now I'm taking that term to the other side so I get a plus n minus 1 times i and all of that is equal to all of this so sine theta cos n minus 1 theta plus n minus 1 integral cos to the n minus 2 theta d theta alright now if you do the algebra on the left hand side here all of that is just going to reduce to n times i is equal to sine of theta cos to the n minus 1 theta plus n minus 1 integral cos to the n minus 2 theta d theta and all that remains for us to do then is to divide both sides by n so the i which is in fact the integral of cos to the nth power theta d theta that's our reduction formula right over there is equal to 1 over n sine of theta cos to the n minus 1 theta plus n minus 1 over n integral cos to the n minus 2 theta d theta and so for example if you wanted to evaluate um, if you wanted to evaluate the integral of cosine to the sixth power theta d theta notice that in this first term it's going to be six minus one so you'll get close to the fifth out in this first part which is no problem you're not integrating that but then over here in the second one you will ha have um, the integral of cos to the 6 minus 2 that's the integral of cos to the 4th power theta d theta and we're in business because we've already developed a 
a video showcasing how to find the integral of cos to the fourth power theta d theta. And so uh, the, my comment here is simply that uh, when you do the reduction formula, you are going to have to have some pre-knowledge of the integral of the power n minus 2 of the n that you're interested in. So, you know, we've done up to cosine to the fifth, which is going to allow me to be able to integrate up to cosine to the seventh. And uh, then, if you wanted to do cosine to the eighth, you will first have to develop your cosine to the sixth power so that you can actually apply the reduction formula. Okay, thanks for watching, and we will do the next video, which is analogous to this, on the integral of sine to the nth power theta d theta. See you there.